Hello, and welcome to the 13.5 CET Migration Webinar. For those who haven't attended a migration webinar before, keep in mind that this webinar is only a supplement to the migration guide. Most of the information you will need is found in the migration guide itself. This video's purpose is to provide some additional explanation and context for certain changes that need it. For 13.5, the migration guide is available from the address on screen now. For a general guide on migrating and the extension sign-off, you can use the help article available from the address now on screen. There is a new extension being added to the codebase as CM Downloader. This extension includes a new client for downloading remote files. While it is designed to be used with any data, it also has some specific functionality included for downloading catalog data. Eventually, this new downloader will replace the existing catalog downloader. Currently, the downloader is still waiting for some finishing touches, but it is expected that the client will be available as an opt-in feature with the release of the first patch. For those that are currently working with catalog-supported extensions, there are no changes required for this changeover. While this new downloader will be available in the future, know that the code and interfaces are currently unstable and shouldn't be programmed against. However, the extension is expected to be solidified and available for extension developers in the near future. An error has been found in the virtual machine that was causing certain types to hash less effectively than intended. With 13.5 comes a fix to the default hashing of these types. This shouldn't have any effect on the use of these types, and the only change that should occur is an improvement to the distribution of these values when stored in data structures that depend on these hashes, such as maps and sets. In 13.5, PropDefs and their prop input settings will no longer synchronize their attributes. Before this change, any attributes on the PropDefs would have been added to the set of attributes on the prop input setting and vice versa. This behavior created some development confusion as it blurred the responsibilities of the two systems. To adjust for this change, make sure you are setting attributes specifically where they are used. For example, if you are using attributes to control the visibility of properties, be sure to set those attributes on the prop input setting. As a reminder for those that may not have known, there are functions available to retrieve prop defs and values based on attributes. They come in variants that look for those attributes on the prop def the prop input setting, or both. From the control panel, users will now have the option to specify which lazy extensions should be automatically woken up when CET starts. This gives users control over their CET experience without having to uninstall extensions they use less frequently. Note that this new feature does not require any changes for existing lazy extensions. It is strongly encouraged that all extensions adapt to Lazy as soon as possible, as it gives the user much more control over their startup times and general performance. Lastly, we'd like to show you some changes that will be coming to the migration guides. All content for all migration guides is now available on the existing wiki, as well as a new, dedicated, migration guide website. This new page allows for better formatting, easier search and navigation, and an easier workflow for configure developers to generate and maintain guide content. For the upcoming 13.5 release, the migration guide will be available both on the existing wiki as normal and the new website. Starting with the release of the first patch, the wiki will be taken down and migration guides will live exclusively on the new website. If you get a chance, try out the new website at the address on screen and let us know what you think. That's everything. If you're watching this video live, now's the time for questions. Otherwise, thank you for your attention and we'll see you in 13.5.